What's up my dudes, Valk here, and today I want to talk to you guys about how I probably made accidentally the best free-to-play team in the game. Now, I want to be very clear, this team is what I'm calling the Iron Fortress, and before I showcase it, before I explain anything, um, I'm going to be showcasing it in the hardest content in the game, so there's going to be story spoilers, our hardest content currently in the game for me. Uh, there's going to be story spoilers, so if you guys care about spoilers, I would get out now because there's some really cool stuff. The story in this game is phenomenal, as expected from Hoyo. And I'm going to be showcasing my team. I'm going to be going over it, going over why it works here in a second. And then I'll be taking in the content so you guys can see it in action. And I'll be fully, fully autoing the final boss currently available in the game. Well, currently reachable because we're only, what, AR? I am currently... AR26. Now I want to show you guys I am fully free to play. I haven't spent a dime on this game. You can see I don't have the express supply pass. Um, whenever it comes to whatever the shop is, I don't know which one's the button. You can see I have all the bonuses. You can see I haven't bought that. And then if I go over to the battle pass and go ahead and click it, you can see I also don't have the battle pass. I'm currently level 12 on the battle pass. I don't have it. So here, before I get into anything, I'm going to uh, give you your opportunity to leave now if you don't want spoilers. So. We're going to be going to the Echo of War, and I'm going to be showcasing, or we're going to go to an Echo of War to fight the final boss of the game. Currently, I mean, we, there could be more bosses, but I couldn't reach it right now. Uh, the fight, the final boss, and we're going to auto it, and I'm going to explain why the team works whenever we get into it. I'll be making dedicated videos towards these characters in the future, so you'll get more in-depth to look at the characters whenever I do make those videos. I uh, expect it very soon, because someone like uh, Clara... She is insane. Clara is nuts. Clara is the core of my team. I designed my team with Clara in mind. Whenever I pulled her off my guaranteed, um, I was really, really happy. And before you guys say, you got a five star in the team, it's not free to play, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to let you guys know this right now. I have probably been the absolute most shafted out of all the content creators. Now, what do I mean? Uh, I haven't gotten lucky at all. Now, you can see here I'm going to point out. I'll tell you all the characters the game gives you for free. Game gives you you for free, gives 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 you for free, and I believe that is it. That means the only characters the game has not given me for free that I have is Clara, Hook, and Arlen, which Arlen is he's probably the worst character in the game. I'm going to be real with you, a lot of characters in the game are really good, but I digress. Anyways, our team is going to consist of Clara, March, the uh, the main character, the MC, and then Natasha. Natasha and March are insane. Now, whenever you get the fire version of the MC, very, very good as well. I call this team Iron Fortress because Clara is going to be doing the majority of the damage along with MC to proc weakness. And then, as far as this goes... March is broken. March is the first character you get in the game. She's the equivalent of Amber, and she is beyond good. All because of this skill. The way this skill synergizes with uh, Clara is insane. It provides a single ally with a shield that can absorb damage up to 42% of March's defense plus 389 for three turns. If the ally's current HP percentage is 30% or greater, greatly increases the chance of enemies attacking that ally. So then you can push them over to Clara, and then Clara can go ahead and counter and do Clara things. And it's really, really, really good. And the other thing that makes it insanely good is this first treat, or this first trait right here. Purify. Skill removes one debuff from an ally. This is so strong, and I cannot stress to you guys how much how strong this is. It gets rid of freeze, it gets rid of entrapment, it gets rid of everything. And you can go ahead and use this to just keep want just keep whopping with uh, Clara because she is nuts uh Natasha here is just going to keep everybody alive that's her main goal her main focus and then we bring the MC the MC fire MC is actually really really good for mitigating damage and also doing damage themselves and you know getting rid of the weakness because weakness is pretty important to play into and none of our none of our team is really good against the boss we're going to be going against except for the MC MC is very good so we're going to go ahead and just auto the boss and I'm going to kind of just sit back and just talk about exactly how this team works uh, more in depth as the auto goes. This auto is going to be about three, four minutes. I'm going to have it in fast forward. So you guys get the idea. 
and you guys will be able to see exactly how this team works in auto. Now, if I'm actually controlling it, it's a completely different story. Uh, if I actually control this team, then uh, it's, it's so much easier than this. But you'll get to just see how this team works all in all together. It, this team is insanely powerful. It's to the point where I just, I kind of laughed at how things go normally. Because it's just funny to me on how I don't need to worry about anything. Uh, the only thing, the only way this team really dies, because the AI isn't the smartest. So the AI for Natasha will sit there and hold the ult. And then if she gets frozen, and then what has to happen is she has to get frozen. And then March AI has to not unfreeze her. And then if Natasha dies, the whole team dies, basically. So the interaction that's happening here and the way Clara works. Clara has a countering mechanic to where Clara, whenever she gets hit or whenever she pops her, her ult and then anybody on the team gets hit, she counters for a very big damage. Now, the thing is about her counter is it will trigger follow-up attacks. So if Clara is shielded, uh, the shield getting hit will trigger uh, March and March will do damage as well. So you'll have March plus Clara dealing damage. And then you'll have all sorts of other stuff going on. Like I like to use, um, what's her name, Herta? I like to use her too because she also will follow up on top of uh, Clara's damage. And Clara just does insane damage. And then not to mention, right, if you have the ult active, it becomes an AoE effect. It hits the enemy and all adjacent enemies with a giant nuke of a hit that it does. And this team is just absurdly tanky. The team doesn't like to die. <laughs> you can see even now that they're low, uh, they should be perfectly fine, I want to say. I want to say they should be fine, but you never know. Um, it all really comes down to like what the Natasha AI decides to do. That's yep, yep. See how March went ahead and provided a shield, and now Natasha, are, the MC is already almost full HP. This is what I mean. Is this team... To me is insane now is this team really really good in the abyss obviously this team doesn't have the fastest clear because there's no good single target damage dealer inside the team um it's more so about survivability and just being able to auto stuff so inside of abyss maybe when the team is really really built up to the point where uh, clara is actually doing insane damage because clara you build her like a you build her like a pure damage dealer and you play protect the clara a lot of times whenever you're actually trying to build her out um but Whenever you have Protect the Clara going, she is going to do insane amounts of nuclear damage. She has very high multipliers. She can proc it twice a turn. Uh, she is just nutty, nutty good. I, at least I think Clara is that good. And whenever I reach my 300 uh, guaranteed selection pity on Standard Banner, whenever that is, however many months from now, because I'm not in any rush to get it, uh, whenever I reach my 300 pity guaranteed, I'm going to pick a Clara dupe. I want to max dupe out Clara fully free to play. So I'm going to be going for that. I'm going to be doing the best I can for that. But you guys can see the just how insanely dummy good this team is. This team doesn't die. And I can auto anything in the game except for, like I said, Abyss. Abyss takes some brain cells to where I have to actually focus on it. Um, but everything else just gets autoed. Dude, this boss is so cool. This fight was so cool, dude. I'm going, I, I'm going to download my stream and cut my reaction to this whole fight, which was mostly sitting in quiet, because I was just literally in awe at how cool this fight was. This fight was so damn cool. At least I think it was. But yeah. And the music is so good, too. But yeah. This is basically it. This is Team Iron Fortress. This is just, you sit here, and you can auto anything, and Clara does a ton of work. Now, that little the robot arm also for this event does a ton of work, or this boss does a ton of work, but in the end, Clara also does a ton of work as well. Clara hits like a freaking truck, dude. I've had it in the uh, simulated dimension because you can you can modify characters' damage with uh, different like ads. I, like, I'm going to make videos on literally everything. I just want to show you guys the team I'm running so you guys know how I beat the game completely free to play. Well, quote-unquote beat it. This is about as far as we can get right now. We definitely can't get into the next area yet, so. Um, basically, I've had it before where Clara has just straight-up one-shot stuff. The MC might be dead here. Yeah, I think that's fine, to be honest. 
This is the first time I've seen the MC die. Of course, it's whenever I'm recording a video. Uh, but I, I'm not going to lie. I, I actually think it's fine. I don't think it changes too much. Yeah. Mm -mm. I think the MC dying really doesn't change a whole lot. Mm -mm -mm. I'm actually really curious how this turns out now. Because if this, if this team can beat it with three people, like Jesus, that is just insane. Mm -mm -mm. She's going to heal herself. If she gets hit here... She should pop her ult here. She's not going to pop her ult? Oh, the team might wipe here. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. This is going to be a lot of damage. Oh, she... Nope. Yep. I'm telling you, the team's immortal, dude. It just doesn't die. It doesn't go away. It's like your childhood decisions, right? It's like your lifelong regrets. It just doesn't go away. It's such a, it's such a cool fight. But yeah. I just want to showcase my team to you guys, get this one last run in for the week, and showcase all this stuff because I think this team is insane, and hopefully you guys give this team a shot. You can swap out the MC with uh, Herda. Herda is really, really good too. I've had I've built her up uh, too. You can see right here. She's really, really good as well. I've been using her too. Uh, but yeah, this team is absolutely wacky. The amount of AoE damage it pumps out, the amount of survivability, everything about this team is really, really good. The only thing it's lacking is a single target damage dealer, which is why I'm going for Sile. But yeah, this team is nuts, and I think I might have accidentally made the best free-to-play team in the game. Just saying. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.